1,000 pound sisters, when did bad girl Amy turn to the dark side? Her arrest and other scandals are big red flags 1,000 pound sisters star Amy Sladden becomes more and more unlikable with each new episode of the show. And her off-screen escapades involve a drug arrest. When she began appearing on the reality show, Amy weighed 408 pounds. The show was named 1,000 Pound Sisters because of Amy and her sister Tammy's combined weight. And it shot to fame as fans tuned in to watch the Kentucky Sisters transform. For Tammy and Amy, the journey to losing weight wasn't easy. However, Amy had a clear goal from the beginning, she wanted to get healthy and have children. Tammy refused, but Amy tried her best to overcome challenges, including mental health issues. Amy decided to get professional help in time. She started watching her diet and lost enough weight to be approved for bariatric surgery in 2019. Amy has lost over 176 pounds as of 2024. Amy's lifestyle has improved dramatically. But she once again experienced a setback with her breakup from Michael Holterman. Unfortunately, as Amy tries to move away from Michael, she makes one bad decision after another. Amy Sladden seemed like a nice girl. My first impression of Amy was good. Which starts to affect her role as a mother. Amy was always seen as the better sister compared to Tammy. She was nicer and even smaller. Amy had the surgery first, but the process didn't take as long as Tammy's. Amy knew what she wanted, she could find a nice husband and fulfill her lifelong desire to have children. It was all very simple for Amy, but she made Tammy know it by rubbing it in her face. Amy's attention-seeking strategies were overshadowed by Tammy's tantrums. She found reasons to blame Tammy for her bad decisions and complained about her sister's childish behavior. Amy never took any responsibility for her bad decisions. It was obvious that she lacked self-confidence. Amy's true nature was not noticed for more than three seasons, but her true nature was revealed through her vague comments about Tammy and her ability to create problems to get attention. She wanted to prove that she was a good sister and a good student, but while doing so, she made Tammy feel bad. Interestingly, Tammy has been able to redeem herself in the last few seasons. Amy was always finding reasons to put Tammy down. Naturally, Amy is jealous of Tammy's success. Then the fact that she felt miserable about her divorce and mood swings didn't justify her overall bad attitude. When Amy became single, she was desperate to find a partner right away. This led her to get into one relationship after another. Dating became a coping mechanism for Amy, but these relationships brought her nothing but heartache. She wasn't looking for a man who would take care of her and her children. Amy began to get involved with the bad guys who had the most negative impact on her. Amy Slatten arrested for drug use Amy arrested at a zoo in Tennessee Amy made headlines for the wrong reasons when she was arrested for drug possession in September 2024. Amy's good girl image had already been shattered, but this incident left lasting damage to her reputation. The Crockett County Sheriff's Office released details of Amy's shocking arrest on Facebook. Amy was arrested Monday night at a zoo in Tennessee for allegedly illegally possessing Schedule I and Vi drugs. Amy was still being held in the Crockett County Jail when the post was shared on social media. Amy wasn't alone at the scene when police were called to the bizarre incident. A guest at Tennessee Safari Park in Alamo reported being bitten by a camel. When police arrived on scene, they noticed a strange odor coming from the same guest's car and immediately became suspicious. Amy was arrested along with a man named Brian Scott Loveborn who was in the car with her. According to USA Today, police did not disclose at the time what drugs Amy and her partner were allegedly carrying. Schedule I drugs can include opioids such as heroin, hallucinogens, 
hallucinogens such as LSD. Depressants or stimulants, while Schedule VI drugs include marijuana and THC. Marijuana for medical or recreational purposes is illegal in the state. It was Amy who was bitten by the camel. Urag admitted that police allegedly found marijuana and illegal mushrooms in her car. Amy has pleaded not guilty, as has Brian. Both are scheduled to appear in court again on November 7 after being released from Crockett County Jail on $10,000 bail. Did Amy endanger children at the Tennessee Zoo? Amy only cares about being a good mom in front of the camera.